On this episode of Fish Addictions TV, we're headed back up to Michigan to fish crappies and bluegills. Now we've got a special one in store for you because this isn't going to be about big fish. This is going to be about having fun on the ice and the camaraderie. Now we're going to kick the augers, we're going to kick the snowmobiles and huff it in two and a half miles to get on these fish. Now it's all about having fun guys and it's all about making memories. So we're going to have to pack light. What do you got there? You said to pack light, so that's what I did. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. <laughs> what? Are you serious? I like it. <laughs> Let me try that thing on. Addiction, the fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity. An addiction is not desirable. It is something that overtakes your life. But what happens when an addiction can't be stopped? An addiction is stronger than any one drug with only one cure. The cure is not rehab. It is not medication. It is not a counselor. The only cure for us is the water beneath our feet, the rod in our hands the anticipation of that next big bite, and the camaraderie we all share. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear. Striker Ice. Go early. Go late. Go prepared. 13 Fishing. Make your own luck. Acme Tackle. And the rest of our fine sponsors. Most of the time when we're hooking the sleds up and huffing it out onto a lake, it's early ice for us. But here on this particular body of water, you didn't have a choice. And we had to go about a mile and a half, two and a half miles in to get to our fishing spots. And let me tell you, just that in itself is an adventure, especially in that pristine wilderness. So Mike said that uh, we we're gonna have kind of a long walk um, into this destination where we're going to be fishing and I was expecting you know a couple hundred yards but we get out there and it's about a two and a half mile walk. We had to pack very light so we went through our transporter bags and pulled a bunch of stuff out that we weren't going to use, threw it on our back and trekked out. Now we're out here on a backwoods lake that has no power augers, no snowmobiles, no motorized vehicle restrictions on it. So we're utilizing the Eskimo silver tip six inch hand auger and it is making short work out of this ice. Getting back in one of these backwoods lakes is incredible. I mean, you have zero cell phone service and that just adds to it. Just very serene wilderness setting. Uh, very, very relaxing. Oh, we're looking for the right fish. We know there's big bluegills in this lake and nice crappies. Let's see what we got here. Okay. But we're gonna catch a few out of the school, see what we're dealing with, and then move on if we need to.
stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. Introducing the new standard in high-performance electric ice augers, the Ion X, featuring the newly designed 5 amp hour XC5 battery with 66% higher storage capacity. The Ion X powers through up to 1,600 inches of ice on a single charge. That's a lot of extra holes. The all-new cast bottom cuts fresh and frozen over holes more smoothly. So easy to use, starts every time. Flush holes clean with reverse, no more scooping. No exhaust, so I drill inside my ice house. Learn more at ioniceaugers.com. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you drill less holes because fish come to you. Jig it, rip it, or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout. And experience multi-species action with just one bait. At Eskimo, we engineer for performance on the ice. The HC40 is the first auger with an engine built for propane. Others use modified gas engines that don't take advantage of the higher octane propane. This high compression engine gives you superior power with less weight. Propane burns clean, and a propane engine starts easy. Our quantum blades can even cut through old holes. The Eskimo HC40, the high performance propane auger. Feels a little better. Let's see what we got. Ooh, not a bad crappie. Not exactly what we're looking for, but hey, man, I'll take them all day long. So this is a really cool episode for me. You know, got the call from Mike, and he's like, "Hey, we're going to be coming up to your neck of the woods. You know, 45 minutes away from home for me." Uh, Ran over the border into Michigan, you know, up in the UP today, but really cool to be able to show what Northern Michigan, Northern Wisconsin has to offer. Get out here, you don't see many people. Uh, you're out in the woods, nothing but trees, and, and just a really cool experience. So I was glad to, to share, you know, kind of some of my homestead with the rest of the staff. There we go. Out here in 42 feet, you know, these bluegills are just stacked up, you know, about 12 to 15 feet down. I mean, it's, it's hard to even see individual marks on the screen. Oh, that's a decent one. So we're looking for giant fish out here today, but that's a good bluegill on anybody's book. There he is. Whoa! A little better fish. Now here's going to be a perfect example of how this free fall works. We're dropping down right on that school of fish. And there's just an active school of fish down there. Feels like a decent fish. You know, that's one of the cool things about this reel. You're just dropping right on top of them. And you're able to, a decent bluegill. You're able to get right on top and stop and, and really engage those fish right away with no hesitation. Feels like a bit better fish here. Being on the ice with Fish Addictions guys is a great time. I don't get to see them all the time because I'm a little bit further away from them, but when we're able to get together, it's fun to just be able to sit back, relax, catch a few fish, catch up and have a good time. So what we're doing here is we're fishing tungsten jigs and the color that's been working for me today has been pink and white to, with either a pink tail or a red tail. And what I'm doing to get the little bit bigger, more aggressive fish out of the school is to, to physically jig them up out of the top of the school and make the big aggressive fish chase them and ones like this that'll take it.
Hey guys, this is Josh with Fish Addictions, and here's a quick tip while you're out on the ice, um, especially when you're fishing panfish. A lot of people are really buying up these multiplier inline reels. My personal favorite is the original Black Betty with the advent of the fender attached to the backside of it, giving it a great pistol grip configuration. Now, when you're working a fish up, and this has happened many, many times where you're working a fish up and all of a sudden that fish says, nope, and starts to fade, with most reels on the market, you're either gonna open the bale or hit the, the spool release and drop that jig real quickly into that fish's face. What I like to do, and I think is a lot more subtle presentation, not to disturb that fish anymore, is take your finger and just slowly back spool that line out so you're slowly dropping that bait into that fish's face as opposed to plumbing it right into his face. It just seems for me to put a lot more fish on the ice. It's not very often that in the middle of winter you get to go fishing with just a sweatshirt on. Pretty crazy. We're up here in the UP chasing big bluegills. Now to get to where we're at now, we've had to walk two miles, ditch the power augers, ditch the snowmobiles, and we're out here having a blast. Now, here we go. There he is, right there. Ooh, ooh. Now, what we're actually doing out here is going around these deeper holes, cut around the deucer, and really concentrating on the rims of these holes. Basically, that 27 to 40 feet of water, these fish seem to be just sliding out to the shallower part outside that bowl. And what we've really found here is these fish are really keen on red and red's been the key for us today. And I've got a gold tungsten on with that sun shining down real bright. It's got a lot of nice, you know, fluttering in the water. So we're gonna get this guy back and get after him because we're after monsters. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. Hi, I'm Pat Kovash, owner of Kovash Marine proud sponsor of Fish Addictions. We're very happy to have Fish Addictions running our new 203 with our 350 Verado. Equipped with the Mercury, Yamaha, or a Suzuki with the Warrior Boat is always a winning combination. Come on in and check out our great service department at Kovash Marine. Whether it's custom rigging, engine rebuilding, or routine maintenance, we can handle it at Kovash Marine. Come check us out at kovashmarine.com or 1417 First Avenue North in Moorhead. And remember, when experience matters, call Kovash Marine. There we go. This is why we come to Lake of the Woods. I mean, if you can't get excited about big crappies like this, you shouldn't be here anyway. Thirteen fishing, make your own luck. We at Eskimo are just like you, up early to take the morning commute to our favorite fishing hole. We understand your days on the ice, enjoying peacefulness and solitude are limited, and we believe our gear needs to work all the time, which is why we are backing all of our power augers with the first ever five-year warranty. Nobody sells more power ice augers than Eskimo. Get assurance. Get reliability. Get Eskimo. It's always fun to sit there and just kind of look at everybody out there fishing. And this guy's got one on and this guy's got one on and it was just continuous like that all day long. 
know, getting out to these remote areas, you find a lot of beautiful looking fish. Just look at the coloration on that. Gorgeous. You know, today really expresses for me, you know, being the first time out with the with the guys is, is really what fish addiction is all about. It's about laughs, you know, guys running around, getting excited when everybody else is catching fish and and that's really what we strive to do as fish addictions and it was awesome to see that firsthand today. You know, Ryan, it's pretty cool to finally make it to your neck of the woods and get up here and get out on the lake with you fishing. Absolutely. I was pumped when I got the call that you were, you know, gonna be close to home for me and, and really get a chance to experience the you know what the Northwoods has to offer. <laughs> There's been a lot of fish down here too. We'll see yeah, what we got here. Bluegill stacked for days. We've got a few nice crappies too though. There you go. That's a nice fish. There you go. You know, one of the cool things about this area is the fact that there's really nothing up here. Yep. Nothing. We walk two miles to get out here. Fish on over here, fish on over here. We haven't caught the biggest fish but we've got a lot of nice ones. Absolutely. Yeah, that's one of the great things about, you know, once you get into northern Wisconsin, northern Michigan, you know, there's ice fishing and snowmobiling, and that's it. <laughs> you gotta love it to be yeah, here. absolutely. <laughs> well, I'm glad we finally made it up for you to, you know, participate in what we're doing up here. Obviously, you're on the ice a lot up here. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a blast to get out with you and meet some of the other guys, and, you know, that's what it's all about. That's what fish addictions is all about. Absolutely, man. You know, Josh and I haven't fished together for a long time, and at one point, he was over there putting on a clinic. It was just awesome to see. Get this guy back so we can get a few inches longer. This trip was about just getting out and enjoying each other's company. And man, did we have a good time. The weather was beautiful. It was almost 45 degrees. Yeah, we had a long walk, but I mean, we spent the whole day together just hanging out, BSing and catching fish. I mean, what, what more could you ask for? Dude, you know, you get off the beaten path in these backwoods lakes where you got to walk in access only and you get unmolested fish and crappies of that caliber in a small wilderness setting. It's so cool to be able to come out here with these, this group of guys and just really enjoy the wilderness. You know, we're kind of going back to the roots here. I grew up with my dad using a hand auger and that's all we've been running today because of the restrictions on this lake. And it's, it's just been a blast. And when you're catching crappies like that, who can complain, man? Hey guys, Anthony here. Quick tip for you. We see a lot of anglers when they're getting off the ice for the weekend, dumping their bait out on shore or into the garbage. Uh, we just wanted to give you a little tip on what to do that you can you know, reuse your bait. What I like to do is I'll take minnows that I have left from the weekend and I'll put them into a Ziploc bag and freeze them. This way when I go out the next time, if I just want to use minnow heads or put them on a jigging spoon, I don't have to go and buy new bait. Um, it's also nice for when I travel and go up into Canada or places where you can't bring in live bait. I've already got some and I don't have to pick up anymore. So, I mean, it's as simple as just grabbing them out of your bucket, you know, dumping them into the bag. And then I take and I lay them flat and I squeeze all the air out of them. You know, even if the minnows are alive, then what I'll do is I'll come back about 30 minutes later and just re-flatten everything again so that when I go to use them, I can just break them apart and they're all ready to go. You guys, if you're out and you're fishing bluegills or crappies or, or any of these smaller perch even, this rod has it all for you guys with that soft tip and the, you know, an awesome backbone to fight these fish. There's a beautiful bluegill. You know, with that soft tip, you can get those up bites, you can get those down bites, and it's still got the backbone to fight the fish properly and keep that hook engaged. Just a great all around rod 
and paired with that free fall, this is a deadly combination. You know, when you're with a bunch of guys and you're just having a good time, obviously the guy thing is to challenge somebody to something. So Josh and I challenged each other to an auger race and I'm pretty sure I beat him. All right, since we got to use a hand auger out here on the lake, we've decided to have a little bit of fun with it. <laughs> Trying to get as many holes as we can drill these schools are shifting around. So I haven't fished with Mike in a while, a little friendly competition. Why don't you explain the rules, man? We are going to, on the count of three, run to the auger, grab it, take a step, and start drilling a hole. First one to have two holes finished, and back to this point, wins. What do we win? I guess breaking, right? That works. All right. Ready? Since I'm a little out of shape, we should probably give me a step. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One, two, three. You know, it's been about 15 years since I've used a hand auger, and back then, what I remember, it was quite the challenge. It's pretty fun to watch Mike and Josh hit the auger competition, and I think if Mike didn't get his auger stuck, he would have won it, but it was a pretty darn close race at the end. Dang it, it got stuck! <laughs> <laughs> but those silver tip Eskimo hand augers really cut through the ice nicely. In good spirit? <laughs> I think that was the time, time, man. <laughs> well, let's catch some fish. You gotta have as much fun as you can when this is all you get to use. <laughs> Look a little winded, buddy. I am. And we got a two and a half mile walk back. That's true, man. <laughs> Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear. Striker Ice. Go early. Go late. Go prepared. 13 Fishing. Make your own luck. Acme Tackle. And the rest of our fine sponsors. You know, anytime you're on a trip like we have here, we're hours away from home with a big group of friends. Now, we talk about this all the time. It's about making memories. It's about taking and doing things that you're gonna remember for a lifetime. And that's what we're doing here. We're out here chasing panfish. We're not after anything specific. We're just out here to catch a bunch of fish, have a good time, and just, you know, just be together and have a bunch of laughs. That's what this, that's what fishing is all about. And the, and the screen is stacked full of fish. I mean, we're literally pulling fish up out of the depths and they're just hammering it. And there you go, see, right there at the tip. You know, it doesn't matter the size of fish. It doesn't matter where you're at, what you're doing. It really matters the people you surround yourself up with and the memories we make with each other. That isn't a fish we're gonna put on the wall. This is a fish that we're making memories with everybody behind me. As you can see, several people hooking into fish. That's what fishing is about. That's what we're about. And that's what you should be about. And that's what's gonna make fishing fun for you. It's nice to step away from the everyday fishing we do where we have our power augers, our HC40s, our ions, and to get out with a group of guys and just relax and catch a bunch of fish and go back to old school where you have to hand drill your holes and, and walk out and pull some sleds. First time I've been out with the guys and it's just a blast seeing everybody catch fish, you know, constant hook sets. And you look around, three, four guys are reeling fish up at the same time. I mean, that's, that's really what it's all about. And, and this was the perfect opportunity for us to get out as a staff, get away from everybody else and, and just catch a ton of fish, which is, which is really cool.
And with the guys at Fish Addictions, we all have one thing in common, and that's the love for fishing. So when you get a group like that together, that's how memories are made. <laughs> that's a great way to end the fishing trip. Now guys, remember, fishing's not all about the big fish you catch. Yes, big fish are fun to catch, don't get me wrong, but it's about the memories you make. Here at Fish Addictions, we always get together periodically and just have a great time on the ice, no matter if we're catching big fish, small fish, or lots of fish. Guys, follow us on our next adventure. This is it from here. Make sure to check us out on all our social media outlets. Yeah, we're not that far from it, so I guess we can try and check it out tonight and see what it. happens. I'm definitely afraid of that stuff, but <laughs> when you're this close, you got to do it. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe you can get someone to hold you tonight when you're sleeping if you're scared. Well, that's what we got you for. <laughs>